Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so I've been asked about oh, several times to do more BioForce exercises. So um, haven't made a video for a little while, so I thought why not do do a workout, but record the workout um, on the BioForce. So I'm going to start with um, lat pulls, uh, wide grip and narrow grip, and um, so you guys can do them along with me because I'm going to be doing three sets of each and then change up to something else. So let's get into it. So start with your seat low enough so when you when you reach up you've got a good stretch so you can adjust that seat. You guys on the BioForce, if you don't have BioForce and you have a normal gym, same thing. Okay. I find if I... Uh, I can lock my legs just a little bit underneath this back cushion. I'm going to take a wide grip and pull. Try not to lean back too much, otherwise you, you're recruiting more upper back than um, than lats. Uh, I might just go a little bit heavier. Not much. So another set. Pulling that bar far down as I can to my chin, so I'm looking over the top of it, just like you're doing a pull up. <clears throat> oh, a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a rest. I really want to set. Um, set your resistance so that you can do between, say, eight and twelve. But if you can go a little bit more, just Go a little bit more. When you're ready, we'll do another set. You can just pause if you if you're just starting out. And you're not ready yet. Might just you got to be careful how much weight because it starts to pull you up a bit. So then you're not really getting good range of motion. But as long as you can get a good stretch and pull right down, <coughs> you'll, you'll recruit all your muscles. <coughs> Who said you can't get a good workout with a bioforce? <sighs> Have a little rest and then we're going to go uh, narrow grip. So, <sighs> so I like to, you know, if you had a double double D handle, you could pop one of those on as well. But for um, for the purposes of the BioForce, we're just going to grip just inside the the um, hinge, the, <coughs> the points there, not to and not to get your knuckles underneath the, <coughs> the loops.
Um, so on those, you can um, you can feel your triceps getting activated as well on that. So maybe have a minute's rest before you do another set. But it's <coughs> definitely um, giving me a good workout this lion pause. That's why people just love them. They're so lightweight and so so um, easy to move around. And there's tons of exercises. Just use your imagination. <laughs> tons of exercises you can do. Them. Which will probably go through the whole lot eventually again. It's been a while since I've made the Bioforce. And everyone's always commenting how they love their Bioforce when they, when they buy it. Because um, people don't really um, know how much of the resistance is on it. Even though it says 105, 110 pounds. It feels a lot more than that. Um, I did do a video comparing it to um, what was that other thing? Um, a Bowflex, which I thought was good at the time, but within a few weeks I had exhausted those bows to the point where they hardly had any tension in them at all. And um, I tried putting steel straps in and tie strapping them to the bars. I tried using uh, bands to give me some more tension. I just found it pretty useless really. So anyone that's been working out for a while, I wouldn't recommend getting one of those things. Um, the Bioforce kills it. This Bioforce is really old. Never had any trouble with it. Um, but the uh, there's so many of those um, Bowflex machines for sale, mainly because they're no good, not because they, they don't want to work out anymore, mainly because they're worn out and they wear out pretty quick. And to buy new um, um, bows for them, um, extremely, extremely expensive, nearly, nearly like four or five hundred bucks. So you can pick a second hand Bowflex up hundred bucks. I sold mine to an old guy that it, it suited him because he you know he's an old guy, he wasn't very strong and for him it was great, but for anyone that's been working out any you know six months to a year even I think you'll find the Bowflex is pretty well uh, not suitable, pretty well exhausted. Anyway let's do some more of these things. Now we grip Flat pulls. I can really feel that in the lats. Oh, it's giving me a good workout. Um, I think after this we might try some, um, maybe some shoulder work on it. If I can remember how to do it, but it won't be too, won't be too hard to remember. Because I normally use this every week for leg extensions because it's just set up ready to go and I've got my plenty of other machines around that I use but ideal for leg extensions because it's so easy to set the weight to whatever you want just by moving that. Let's do this last set of narrow grip lap pulls.
As you can see, that um, really gives you a good back workout. So there's other things you can do if you want to keep going with your um, lats and your back. We can carry on with uh, a bit of back workout, or you can change it up, do some traps if you want to. I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll set it up in a tick. When I decide what I want to do, I'll just pause the video while I change it around. <clears throat> Actually, I won't pause it, I'll just change it around. And then you can see how easy it is. So when you change cables, just bring this back up so there's hardly any tension on it. Then, unhook your carabiners and pop them on. Let's say we're going to do uh, rear delts. So we'll pop, pop that up. Sorry. Pop that up here. That's it. I'm getting old, I forget. Pop it up to here. That'll give us some red delts to do. Pop our handles on. Don't need two carabiners, but there's two carabiners. <laughs> first before I put too much weight on it. Bring the camera back a bit. Let's see. Alright. So you can do uh, crossovers if you like or just like that. If you want to cross over, you can cross over. If that feels better for you, cross over. But I uh, seem to prefer that. So I'm going to go up a little bit. good. Just go up a bit more. I know that's working because I can feel the pump in, the, in my back. So I'm using my pads here to lean on, stopping me pulling forward. Definitely good. Getting hot now, I might have to put that AC on. 
Yeah, I'll tell me this will make some noise. <sighs> Alright. Have, have enough rest, we'll do another set. So what we can do now, if we bring the cables in a bit closer and drop the weight, we can actually do some rear flies and that'll, that'll just engage the muscles a little bit more. <clears throat> Again, you can cross over if you want to, but you might not have to. Let's just bring it down and see what sort of uh, muscle recruitment we can feel. You gotta with this machine you can actually feel which muscles you're recruiting. <clears throat> so start off light. I might just cross it over. Wait on. Even that's a bit heavy because they're only small muscles so and plus you're already, already exhausted so what we can get there so I want to try and get maximum activation so just drop the weight until you get that it's not about how much weight you use it's about rec recruiting the muscles <clears throat> and activating those muscles. Ah, better. Even. <laughs> and there's plenty of tension on these machines. You don't even need that. Let me try and go there. I just want to try and get my. You'll feel it when you get there because it'll just stop, but it's not stopping yet, so that's it. back and see what I was actually recruiting then because I get to the stage where it's locked so I know I'm getting good range of motion. Again you can um, cross over. I'll try a cross over and see what happens. Pause this shortly and have a look at that uh, muscle recruitment after this set. But you should be able to feel your your lats and your and your rear delts burning by now, guys. We might do some traps after. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you think the uh, Crossover feels better, more range of motion, or the just a straight pull. So 
might have noticed I stepped back there because um, I noticed the cable's rubbing on the seat just to protect the seat. So just decrease that angle. I could just move it along a notch, that would probably fix it. Nah, that'll make it worse. Anyway, we'll uh, set up for some. Uh, we can do a bit of shoulders, a bit of, um, a bit of deltoids as well. So it's lifting that off. Let's just put it on that hinge hitch point right there. That should give us enough height for some delts. We'll just do some shoulder presses first, because I think that'll be better. That's set up, but you can do these standing if you want, move the seat out the way, but I'm just going to do them here, just because I'm lazy. So, just shoulder presses, but need a bit more weight. Let's put a bit. 30 pounds on each side. We'll try that. It's only 30 pounds on each side. So there's a long way to go before you run out of weight that you can use. I'm going to put a... Uh, 35. I can feel my whole upper body just burning. I can feel the blood, the blood going through. I'll bring that camera in a bit closer and we'll have a look, eh? This looks like you're miles away over there. Alright. That's better. <coughs> Get that ninth one. The power of the biofuels. Oh, I never get any um, emails or messages from from biofuels themselves, but I've done a lot of videos on it. Not because I'm an affiliate or anything like that, just because I like it. I like the machine. And uh, very hard to find on second hand on marketplace or eBay. I'm always looking for a second one, but Matt's looking for one, my workout partner, so if you ever see one, just get one while you can. This was an old silver one, I, I uh, painted it up with just with some uh, uh, automotive acrylic lacquer, come up really nice, so I did a video on that when I actually did it, it's a long time ago, and it seems to be lasting. One more set of shoulder presses. Let's 
good. Shoulders feel good. I do want to do some um, deltoid um, raises though. So for that I will be standing. So I'll take the seat off, which is easy to do. So, so I needed to do that so I can get out here. And also I'll put those pulleys at the front now. Alright. So we're just um just gonna take a straight stance and just pull your shoulders up so that you're activating your delts. You can lean forward a little bit if you want to. It helps to activate them. Rather than just doing that, you can activate them more, pulling forward. But I need a lot of weight for that because I'm used to doing with uh, dumbbells. So I'm going to go 60 at least on each side. <coughs> and it's a cooler day today, but I'm still sweating. So here we go. So yeah, adults get a good work out there. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier though. But I am getting smashed. Let's go 65. So a bit of a rest. I need to have a little drink, I think. I got a tick. So my camera just stopped there for some reason. Time exceeded. I hope we've still got enough space left on the SD card. Feels good. Okay. One more set. One more set. So a lot of people just um, will hop on, do a few, <coughs> a few bench presses on it, a few lat pulls, and <coughs> a bit of legs, a bit of arms, and that's it. But you've really got to put the time in if you want to build the muscle. You've got to really put the time in the gym and then your muscles will grow at night when you're sleeping. But make sure you get enough protein. I mean, you know, you guys know that I'm pretty well strictly carn and carnivore now, so I do eat dairy. But um, mostly just meat. I don't eat any carbs. So I always have enough protein. That's why I, it doesn't take me long back in the gym to start building the muscle again. Let's do this last set. So, if we drop the weight now, we can set up for some um, delt, delt raises, side delt raises. That's if you want to keep going with shoulders. But I will because I, I just want to. <laughs> but we've dropped the weight, so let's drop it down to 20. Because <clears throat> I'm old. Um, let's 
truck, drop it down to 15 because I'm really old. <sighs> But then they're only little muscles, so don't worry too much. You'd be lucky, sometimes you're lucky to do any weight on them to, after, after doing what we did today. You can, again, you can slight bend forward if you want to. It doesn't matter, as long as you're doing, raising it straight up. I find a little bit of bending, slight tilt forward, um, activates the the side, um, the side's better. Oh, I can't even think now. <laughs> Lateral deltoids. <sighs> oh. Not sure how long we've been going now. Must be a while. I'm gonna take a break in a minute. A minute's break or so. Just have enough rest that you catch your breath. But you should start Feels starting to burn now. Oh, let me check this camera out. Yeah, it's still going. Cool. One more set. I'll lift it now. <coughs> can you build muscle with a bio force? Yes, you can. It's the same as you some weights, but better form. <sighs> I'm going to pause this because I want to check back and see what I said. I think some of it might have to be corrected. Anyway, never mind. See you shortly. So I lost some uh, footage there and then I played it back and I was using the wrong terminology. So when we were doing um, lats and then we're doing shoulders, so deltoids we were doing and then when I was leaning forward and lifting it's, it's traps, tra trapezoids or trapezoids, however you want to pronounce it. Okay, so that was for traps and I played it back and I and I said delts in there. Getting old anyway, never mind. I knew which muscles I was in, uh, activating. I just couldn't um, think properly. Anyway, doesn't matter. Joe Biden syndrome. <laughs> no, let's not say that. I'll get kicked off kicked off of YouTube. Um, so let's do some um, what are we going to do? What do you want to do, guys? We can do some arms if you want to. We can do some arms. So you can you can stand and do arms if you want to. You can do biceps. Um, let's do some bicep curls and then we'll do some concentration curls with, with one arm. <coughs> All right. So we do two arms.
and beauty of this is uh, you've got that tension from the very bottom. From the very bottom you can see the arms working on the on the machine and your own arms. So dumbbells, you don't really get any resistance until you get to about there. So all that's wasted there, so really you have to <laughs> do all sorts of weird shit. Anyway, let's put a bit more weight on. I'm not going too heavy because I'm bloody <coughs> exhausted. Because this is uh, all in one session today. And you can use this if you want so that uh, it just activate, your bi activate your biceps and you're not leaning at all. Probably should have a minute's rest. It's going to get a little bit heavier. Not much. Don't get too much. Don't hurt yourself. Especially us old fellas. That's a good set because I burned. I burned good. <coughs> Another minute. I'll do one more set of biceps. Then we'll, we'll change it to triceps. Triceps you can do by pulling the cable down, or you can lean out and and do um, tricep pulls out in front of you. Tricep extensions. Excuse me. I haven't got the fan on because it's right. Be the fan is right behind the camera, and you'll just hear camera noise. Then, if I put any music to it, then uh, you won't hear anything. But I might not put any music. You can put your own music on when you're at home while you're watching. <clears throat> it takes ages to put music on. Good burn. Good burn. Whew. When you start leaning off, you you'll get that you'll get that split in between the biceps there as well. But you know you don't look you don't look as big because you lost a lot of weight, but look nice and lean. See your striations a bit happening. Oh. Which is healthy, healthy body weight, 80.5 or something this morning on the way, somewhere around 8% body fat, sometimes it goes lower, 7 or something. There's always a little bit around here, but not much now. Um, triceps, okay, so what we can do, we'll take. You can use this bar if you want to, just doing triceps like that, but I think I need to put some silicone spray on that, get a bit squeaky. Use your, uh, your handles. If you use your handles, you can 
can do your triceps like that. But if you don't want to do that, I was gonna, I was gonna show some concentration curls first, wasn't I? So all we do for that um, is lean up against something and just just do one arm at a time and pulling in towards you. If you want to lean on your seat and put your elbow on your seat, I mean the, the seat you actually sit on and curl there. But you'll find just leaning back like we were, you're pretty well isolating your biceps anyway. Anyway, let's do biceps. You can do a set like that. Man. Um, and if you probably put those pulleys back um, to the middle, you'll get a bit more length here. Then you can do your extensions. I think it might be a bit a bit short at the moment. Oh no, it's okay. Tension is is there all the time. There's no let up on it. And I'm getting a good plump in the in the. Uh... Oh my god! Triceps. I can't think today. So exhausted. Okay. aching now. Make sure you do your triceps too because they're actually the bigger part of your arm that makes your arm look big when you flex it. <coughs> Biceps are smaller than the triceps although they do look bigger on the inside but they're not. <sighs> okay we'll do the extensions again can't do them, you're spent, that's enough. So, I think that's my shoulders and arms done <coughs> for now. Um, I'd like to do some abs and other exercises, chest maybe, and it's probably some lower back on another video, but for today that's going to be it because I'm absolutely exhausted. Oh, thanks everyone for subscribing. Thanks for all your messages. It's really good to see uh, a lot of guys 
and girls subscribing and working out and leaving their their tips for me and how they're going with the exercises and how old they are there's a few older guys um, and a few guys my age so fantastic so don't forget you're building a stronger body for your older years so I started 10 years ago so I'm glad I did that because now I'm almost October I'll be 63 and I'll tell you what I'm fitter than a lot of guys that are in their 30s and 40s <clears throat> um, mainly due to their um, weight weight has a lot to do with your health puts uh, overburdens all the other organs in your body gives you you're always carrying that heavy weight around it's bad for your knees and bad for your hips um, and most most old age um, symptoms are mainly from poor diet and lack of exercise so if you get your diet right eat plenty of protein do some exercise every day if you can um, but a lot of us exercise anyway, like as nurses we walk a hell of a lot, like miles and miles a day. <clears throat> I have a 10 minute fast walk to work and 10 minute fast walk home just to warm up and then we're walking all day, we're doing manual labour in the, like helping putting pressure on pe people's abdomens when we're doing um, scoping to help the, the scope guide through the bowel. So, there's pressure there, but you know, um, all the cleaners, they're pushing around trolleys and the, the wardies, they're pushing wheelchairs, they're pushing beds, so they're getting their exercise in, but for everyone else, um, if you don't do that sort of work, try and, try and get in the gym two or three times a week, just do something, whatever you can is better than nothing. Anyway guys, have a good week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to share the video. Um, and I'll, I'll do some more Bioforce workouts for you. So, hope you enjoy this one. And uh, we'll catch you later, eh? Over and out.